Cheers, beer reviews. Hornington's Pub Ale. Okay, this beer is, uh, it says on the label, imported from Great Britain. Now it comes in this 440ml can and 4.7% ABV, so it's a little bit higher than some of those other uh, Nitro Widget uh, beers from Great Britain. Now, I think I've seen Swill and Grouch review, I've seen uh, Lose and a Beer reviews, G Haller done a beer review, I'm pretty sure any other day I watched that one by memory, and I also saw Frozen beer reviews done, the review in this beer, I think even just last week or this week. Um, I'll tell you what, because well, on Beer Advocate it gets out 74, and the brothers gave it a, a 61, I believe. Very low score. Now, from what I can gather, this is like a session English pub beer ale. Uh, a bit like, you know, because a lot of them don't. I know the pub scene in Great Britain, uh, they're very ale forward. A lot of them like the, uh, the real ale, uh, where, we say, in Australia we drink. A lot, of, a lot of lagers, heaps of lagers. But anyway, um, let's crack this open. So it's from Dan Murphy's. Uh, for $2.99 reduced. It was in the can, so I don't really care. I wasn't you know, worried about it being out of date as much. Also, temperature-wise, this isn't... Uh, this isn't freezer cold. It's been in the fridge. I sat it out for 15 minutes. Even the glass I had in the freezer and I took it out. It's been out for another 15 as well. So let's just pour it straight in this glass. Okay, now uh, we'll just let this uh, cascade and Come beer, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Right, on, we're back now. As you can see, it's a beautiful looking color. Like appearance-wise, it looks very nice. Now you got like a uh, light ambush appearance and you got that typical nitro uh, one finger of creamy head. Okay, now the smell it reminds me of like a, a cream sherry even, you know, that uh, that rich sweet uh, smell coming from the malts. Uh, maybe a little bit of hoppiness there, but not a real lot. Um, it's just, uh, it's not a bad aroma, it's okay. Righto, the uh, taste test, let's get into it. Jeez. Okay, very watery. A little bit of a tinny twang there to the beer. Uh, with the bed nitro, they're normally pretty flat tasting, wet mouthfeel, they're not like a dryness to them. Um, the sweetness is definitely there. Yeah, toppy sweetness, but not overly strong. It's pretty, I will say it is a bit bland. You're not going to, if you're expecting a punch in the uh, face flavour, uh, you're not going to get it. It's a pretty bland ale, but it's going down pretty easy now. It's, Tinny twangs seem to disappear a little bit now. Now, I uh, compare this to something like a Kilkenny, it's nowhere near as bitter. Kilkenny's got a bit of a bitter kick to it. Uh, this, as I say, it's very creamy, of course, with the nitro. Now, it's pretty expensive here in Australia. It's not a cheap beer. Uh, I think it's about 80 bucks a card, and then I like said, so I picked this up in DM for so $2.99. Reduced. Yeah, it's just very uh, watery, uh, flat, flat-like. Uh, you could skull that quite easily because it's not very gassy. But um, it's creamy, it does go down easy, and it's not too bad, all right, flavour. Now, a score for Bonington's Pub Ale. Oh, look, we'll go, I'll go a B for it. Uh, for the style and what it is, it's a session beer, a session ale, which is uh, not real lot of session ales around. When you think about it, most session beers are lagers, but yeah, you could have this in a session. 
Um, like I said, maybe a little bit of breadiness to this beer, but uh, it, it's pretty bland. You've got to try hard to get those flavours. Righto, so beer for Bonington's Pub Ale. It's different for sure. Everyone knows drinking it, saying it's different. They're right. It's a different kind of beer. It's different to describe. Uh, but it's worth having a try. I would say it's the best beer, but uh, quite drinkable, inoffensive, and uh, goes down smooth and is creamy. Righto, till next time, take care. I'll see you all later.